That didn't go as planned. We have a problem. This car was $65,000 and it's incomplete. I thought it was complete. Can you notice anything on it that makes it look incomplete? Because I couldn't. It seemed nice to me with the handling package. Everything was on there as it should be, but there's actually some pieces that are missing. I've got the box over there to install those pieces today. We're gonna try to do it. I've never done it before, so I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't mess it up. There's a guy that dropped a comment and said he'd been driving around in his Mustang Mach 1 with the handling package without a wing. He thought, why does everyone else have a wing and mine doesn't? And the reason is because the dealer didn't install it. And a lot of people don't know that with the handling package, there's certain pieces that the car comes with that the dealer is supposed to install for you. But nobody knows how to get those pieces. It's a whole conundrum. If the salesperson and the dealer doesn't know, it comes in a separate package. It's a whole thing. I had to track these parts down. I had to call Ford Performance, the warranty division, get my VIN number. These parts were delivered to Illinois six months ago, five months ago, and they've been sitting up there. The cars in Nashville was auctioned off. So they, I had to talk to a guy in the parts department who mailed me these parts. Now I'm gonna be putting them on. The dealer in Illinois should have put them on, but the dealer here in Nashville probably won't put them on. And I've never put these on, so I'm gonna give it a shot. That's why a lot of people are missing part is because the dealer doesn't know that there's a separate package to put these arrow pieces on. So people are driving around their Mach 1 handling package wondering why I don't have a wing on my car. What I'm gonna put on is in that box. I've never done it, like I said, but we're gonna do our best. And something else to note is these pieces that I'm gonna put on keep the rocks from hitting the paint and damaging the paint. So I've been driving around with these Cup 2 tires and there's been rocks hitting the paint. I think I saw my first rock chip over here the other day. It's just part of owning the car. It's just gonna happen. You know, here's the first rock chip, I believe. So it's just part of owning the car. But let's see if we can't get this car the way it should have left the dealership and hopefully we don't mess it up. So here is the mystery box. Mach 1 handling package, front wheel lip molding set. I'm gonna put the link down there so you can get this. And it actually looks like Air Design USA, Oceanside, California. So this was produced by this company, Air Design, 2021 Mustang wheel lip molding set with hardware. So let's open it up and see if everything is in here. I've already taken this one out of the box. It does come with the instruction manual and the hardware kit. Step one, remove front wheels, remove factory fastener, clean, remove any adhesion. So let's do those first three. Let's take off the wheel, take out the fasteners and clean the inner lining of the lip. Use the 21. And now let's take the wheel off. There's this beautiful wheel. These are some of my favorite wheels, obviously. Just beautiful. Clean off our Brembo's, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. This was a $500 option for the painted calipers in the red. And I think they look awesome. And it'll probably get on the brakes and hopefully it doesn't make me have too bad of a wreck. Backyard mechanic here. Look how beautiful that looks. All right guys, so it says to take the wheel off and then remove this clip and then throw it away. Easy as that, there's one here. All right, I believe that is it guys. The next step is to remove any rinse aid or gloss enhancer residue. So clean with alcohol. Guys, this one says LH. I'm assuming that's left hand. Which left hand, does left mean left when you're facing the car or left when you're going the other direction. Like I said, I'm gonna use glass cleaner to clean the inside of the fender well. Who knows if that's gonna work. This one says right hand. So that looks like that's gonna bolt in there, roughly speaking. This one here and this one here. And I believe that's about right. So I'm gonna clean this off. So this is the passenger side of the vehicle and I'm holding the LH, left hand as it says. The bolt holes do not line up on this one. Left hand means if you're in the car, left, not facing the car. 
So left hand means driver really well. Look at that. I'm kind of wondering where this piece is actually gonna press up into. It's kind of weird. It doesn't have just a clean, super clean edge. Feels pretty good. Guys, so you're actually just gonna adhere this to the fender itself, to the painted part. Wipe the adhesive promoter on the inside of the wheel well. But I think the move here, guys, we're gonna do a little trick. We're going to put one tab partially in on each end to secure it. And these are long enough you can pull them off once it's in there. So that's what I would recommend doing. One tab, one tab, then pull the string and then push it into it here. I'm assuming this is an alcohol pad. Hopefully it's alcohol. It smells like alcohol. Then while you're waiting for the other side, just put it back in here where it's still wet because it evaporates really fast. Here's the fasteners it came with. This feels very clean and dry now. I'm gonna take two fasteners, one for each end. Notice there's three on this end. This piece starts at the front of the bumper and then there's three. One, two, three. On this side, just one. Do not push that guy all the way in yet. Guys, this whole piece has to come out on all of these. Remove this, as you can see here. These actually have to come out, all of these. Now you're good to placeholder. This one for the placeholder as well. Moving the adhesive. That didn't go as planned. The problem is guys, if you don't put this first bolt in there, you're not gonna be able to line it up properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and completely push that in. I'm not gonna put that in if it's not exactly how I want it. And I think that's exactly how I want it. Now we're talking. Pull this last piece off. I almost really messed this up. This stuff is super sticky, guys. So I actually do recommend following the instructions. I could see how you could mess that up. Wow. That's a good size flare there, to be honest with you. And the fit and finish is actually pretty good. Hopefully I don't have this on backwards. But that's the way the bolts lined up. I'm just gonna finish up snugging in the bolts. And we'll be hopefully this bolt lines up exactly make sure there's a bolt hole there there is that one fits the lower one and the second one fit the third one doesn't fit i don't know how to get that one to fit unless you jam it in there like that that doesn't seem natural at all it's boogered this one up as you can see we have a problem that one's just not gonna fit guys I'm gonna have to ask Xander about this. I can't see. Can you guys see in Oh, I can see through, straight through. Why isn't this working? No, that's just the reflection. Let me get a flashlight. What's going on in here? One thing I can think of guys is to push it down a bit. Still not really, <sighs> See, this is the problem with putting the adhesion on first. Let's remove these, if it, unless it messes them up. These do seem removable. Okay, hopefully I didn't just screw this up. Hope I can remove these. And then it gives me some more adjustment up here on the trim. But I might have just broken that one. Now, let's see if we can make any progress here. So let's see what's behind door one. Here's what we got going on, these three, right? I'm gonna try to button up this one first. Why is that one? Because it's a small weird hole. Okay, it's rectangle. The other ones are circular. Let me see if I can't find one of these and put it in straight up and down so maybe it'll fit better. More in a rectangular. I just don't want to go in there. This one's being knocked. Doesn't even want to go in there. It's because I still have the trim in there, you idiot. Oh my God. Okay, I told you I didn't know what I'm doing. The trim piece is still in there, you, you idiot. That was still stuck in there. Watch how easy this goes in. Oh, like a glove. Boom, done, boom, done, boom, boom, boom. And then this one, boom, done. The last one up here that was hard to get to, it's because the piece is still stuck in there. Like an idiot, gotta remove that. Ugh, the problem is I don't wanna remove this adhesive. I almost screwed this up, I think I can. There we go, I didn't screw it up. Boom, last one. It is completely. Feels OEM to me. Beautiful, time to put these beautiful wheels back on. And the fit and finish is pretty good. You can see it's snug all the way up against the fender. I don't know if that's something that came like that, 
looks like it's a little adhesive from the factory from that company but i'm not complaining now on this car it does have the gt350 rear spat but from the factory ford didn't put the other one on it's missing one so this one's missing a spat and it's missing the fender trim we got to do something about this this is not acceptable so this is side one and that's how it's supposed to look which one do you like better uh, top piece comes out boom then let's go ahead and get that piece out top piece out and boom that piece let's just wipe it down real quick watch this all right let's put the trim on that's what those are for to hang off the side so that you can pull them off it needs a bit of a pressing pop this bad boy in boom pop these clips in simple as this side doesn't fit quite as well as the other side but still looks pretty much So here's the car with the fender trim installed. As you can tell, it looks way, way, way better. I just have to get that rear spat that was not included from the GT500. Hopefully this helped you find your missing parts for your Mach 1 handling package. Hopefully there's nobody else riding around with the rear wing missing on their Mach 1 and wondering why other people have rear wings on their Mach 1 and they don't. So there's the fender trim installed. And in the next video, we're gonna do a oil separator so that we do not suck oil down to the intake system possibly an x-pipe if you guys like to donate to the channel for a gallon of gas car wash supplies the car parts that i'm going to buy there's a patreon link i'd be much appreciated subscribe and like if you'd like to see the latest mustang and automotive news and what modifications i do to the mustang mach 1 in the future the missing parts were found and installed hopefully that helps some other mach 1 owners get their car the way it should have came from the factory thanks for watching guys catch the next video